Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we are at the beach, but I'm going to send you back in time to what we've been up to for the past few days. So I will send you on your way back then and we will catch up later. All right, so before we get started into this next section, we did take time and stop at a Costco. We found a business center, which if you didn't know, there are only 24 of those in the entire United States, most of which are in California. Um, if you have a regular Costco membership, you are more than welcome to shop there. They don't have clothing, they don't have books, they don't have sporting goods, um, but they have more of your commercial supplies. So for like restaurants and businesses and things like that. Um, and they have an absolutely huge meat and dairy and produce section. Um, and that was really cool to experience. Um, I was able to find Chomps at a really good deal, which is a um, grass-fed, sugar-free jerky stick. Um, so I went ahead and picked up those, and that was kind of fun because we weren't able to check into our hotel room um, when we first got to Orlando. So we went from there, and we wanted to stop by the outlet stores because they have the Disney character warehouse that I've been seeing all over TikTok and all over Instagram Reels, and everybody seems to be talking about how cheap you can get ears and things like that. That place was crazy and very busy. <laughs> um, there were like three or four people um, live streaming in the building at the time <laughs> we were in there, and wow, you almost couldn't walk in there. It was so crowded. Um, we found a few things. I'll probably do a haul later on of what we got from there, um, but, it was really interesting. Some of the things that I was hoping to find they didn't have, but other things that I didn't expect to find they had. So I kind of counted as a win-win. Um, we went over to the Nike store because Kaylin wanted to experience that. So she found a few things. Um, and then it was time that we could go over and do early registration at our room. It still wasn't ready, um, but you can kind of check in, get your room keys, and then they'll text you when your room is ready, which I thought was kind of a neat concept. So we went and headed over to the hotel to do that. Um, you have to go kind of into the parking garage and there's like a 20 minute um, parking lot that you can go do like check-in for that. Um, so they did that. And then we went over to Disney Springs. Now, I love to go to Disney Springs whether or not I'm going to the actual Disney theme parks because it is a taste of Disney without paying Disney prices. So you don't have to pay for a ticket to get in and you don't have to pay for parking. There is surface level parking that is free and there is no actual entrance fee. But there is world class dining, there is shopping, um, there is a Coca-Cola store, there is a M&M World that is there so you can get things that have like M&Ms and um, Mickey Mouse faces on them that you can't get anywhere else. Um, there's lots of Disney merchandise stores so you can kind of do some pre-souvenir shopping um, without being in the park and being tired or having to carry all of that around while you're wandering the park and I thought that was a really good idea. Um, it also gave Kaylin some time to get some Disney things since we were going to be hitting only really universal um, and while we were there I did get our text that our room was ready but we weren't quite ready to head back over there and we decided to eat at the Rainforest Cafe which is located within the Disney Springs area um, it is such a cool experience if you've never been it is a theme restaurant and their food is great, their service is excellent, um, and it's just an overall experience. You'll see some clips of that coming up. Um, and on this trip, we are celebrating Kaylin's birthday a little bit early. Her birthday is not until August, but because we are on this vacation and it is her first vacation, we wanted to celebrate with her. And so she allowed us to get them to sing to her, and it was the best time. Um, and then from there, we just kind of kept wandering. We kind of underestimated the heat a little bit. It was really hot that first night and then it rained and it made it kind of worse. <laughs> um, but overall, it really wasn't too bad.
more happy, happy birthday from all of us here. We made you something special, we made it just for you. We hope you have a super fun and such a terrific day. So happy, happy birthday for Ray for his cafe. Hey! Now, for my review of the resort after having stayed there. It was nice, but I think my money could have been spent better elsewhere. Um, the For the price you pay, I think that they could have done a little bit better. Um, the quality of the bedding really was subpar. Um, I've stayed in some really cheap hotels that are like 50 and $60 a night that have better bedding than that. Um, and then on each bed there was only two pillows. So it really didn't look anything fancier and it was $300 a night. So that was kind of a hmm. Um, the other disappointing thing is that in the pool area, while it's nice, the pool is heated, um, which you didn't need on this trip. <laughs> um, it was only three and a half foot deep all over the pool which is great for kids, but if you're an adult and you want to kind of get a reprieve from the kids for a minute, there's no real adult area that you could kind of get to the deep end and be away from them for a little bit or really float. Um, and after walking around the parks or walking around Disney Springs, we really wanted to be able to float. Sitting in the pool was nice, but I was really hoping that we would get to float around a little bit. Um, our room, we loved having the secondary suite with a closing door. Um, that offered Kaylin a little bit of privacy. She was able to shut the door. We could get up earlier than her and not really interrupt her and that was fantastic. Um, the room, every time you returned to it, smelled like strawberries. I don't know how they did that. I thought that was wonderful. Um, it didn't smell like sweaty, stinky gym socks because I know we sweated that much that it should have. <laughs> Um, and in an upcoming video, I'm going to be reviewing some things that are absolutely summer essentials for not only vacation, but just in general. Um, they saved our hind ends more times than not. Um, we hit heat indexes of 122 several times over there. Um, and as you'll see, we walked several miles. <laughs> and then my last complaint about the hotel is that one of us wasn't feeling well and a mess was made in the room. We asked them to clean it up and they only partially cleaned it up. We asked them to clean up the floor. They didn't really clean up the floor. And so that was kind of a bummer. Um, it was a hit or miss. There was some service lacking um, and I'm gonna be reviewing that um, with them just so that they can do better next time. Um, and then the shuttles were great. They were every 10 to 15 minutes but you were the farthest away from the park entrance um, because it was the value hotel, not the premier hotels. So that's all something to consider. Um, and time of year that you're going is another big thing to consider. And then when it came to dealing with the park, that was absolutely fantastic. Um, if you have any type of anxiety or somebody in your party has anxiety or autism or a special need of some sort, um, make sure you stop by guest services. They have 
options that will um, allow you to go get wait times for the longer rides that are over 30 minute wait times um, so that if you can't wait in the line they've got it to where you can come back and it's kind of like an express pass but not really um, and that was super helpful um, so that we didn't have to wait if we didn't want to um, and then if you are in the park during the heat of the day that noon to about two o'clock start looking at going to some of the shows in the air conditioning so many people were still trying to ride rides at that time and i don't know how they were dealing with the heat um, i found that going to the shows during that time was wonderful. It was a nice break from the heat. We got to sit in the air conditioning, take a break, sit down, and that was a huge weight off our shoulders and a much needed break.
All in all, it was a fantastic trip and I can't wait until we get to do our next adventure. We're looking at doing Disney next time because that's what Caitlin wants to do when we come back down. Um, but our next video, we're going to be covering Kennedy Space Center, Gatorland, and a wildlife reserve. So you'll want to come back for that one. All right, so we're finished at the beach. Did you have fun, Kaylin? Yeah. Did you have fun, Tom? I had a blast. Did you all have fun at the beach? <laughs> but that is all we have for you today. I hope you had a great time exploring Universal with us and seeing all the different sites. Um, we will see you for our next video. Until then, bye for now.